Hello everyone, this video is to show how an email can be sent to overdue uh, accounts receivable. So we're going to jump into our accounting app. We see here we have some about nine unpaid invoices. If we click into our invoices here, we can easily filter to our overdue accounts. And if we want to set this as the uh, default search, we can see that uh, one has already been saved under favorites. Um, we can also make that a default search as uh, the default if we want to. So we're going to go into Studio. And we're going to go over to Automations here. We see that we have one automation here. And I'm going to click into it. We see that the model is our journal entry, which is our invoice model and then we see down here that we're basing it on a timed condition over to our right we see the action to do which is going to be send email and then we can see here the email template we're specifying so we can create our own email templates um, but this is the default and then we're doing the status not paid and then the due date um, you don't need this payment status not paid here. Uh, the only thing you would need to do is the trigger date being the due date and then um, based on the delay after the trigger date. So for example, uh, the due date of that invoice comes around, you could automatically on the due date send an email saying your invoice is due. And then you could also have an email saying like two days from then your email is, your invoice is past due. The way you do this is by specifying when that email is sending out. So for example, this one, we are delaying the trigger date by one minute. So one minute past uh, the due date is when it will trigger the email and send out the email. Now we can also do it based on hours, days, or months. So for example, if you wanted to send an email uh, based on being seven days uh, past, Overdue, you could specify that. For the purpose of the demo, I'm going to do one minute because that way I can have it shown on the video. And this will be our template. So it's not going to say anything about overdue invoices, but if you wanted to create a template specifying your uh, message, your invoice is overdue, please submit payment at earliest convenience, something like that. You can set that up in the email templates. But what we're going to do is go back and I'm going to close this and then I'm going to run my browser and update the browser. And now we can go to our overdue accounts or our overdue invoice favorite there. So now let's click into some of our invoices and see that each uh, overdue invoice has had an email sent. So we see down here, a minute ago, we sent this email along with the invoice over again. And then let's go here, let's see. So the invoice was sent, and it was sent to each of these overdue invoices. And like I said, you can, uh, specify your own email template that you would want to use for these uh, overdue invoices. So now it shows that it was two minutes ago and we still have that email. So that's how you handle that. Um, and then you can schedule those based on uh, the different time parameters you want to do. So whether it be like an invoice reminder, seven days, and then uh, a month, and then two months, something like that. And it's very easy to set up.